Hello everyone, this is Teacher Andrew, and today I wanted to show you how to remove the background on an image. You might find this useful for a website that you're building, or maybe even a Unity project or a JavaScript game. The first thing that we want to do is find our source image. Today we're going to be looking for a good dog. Let's see what we can find on Google Images. Alright, here we have a good selection of excellent dogs. Let's go ahead and pick this one. Right click, save image as, and I'm going to change the name to good boy. Notice that the format is a JPEG. This means that the image will not have a transparent background. But fear not, there is a way that we can remove the background on this excellent dog. In fact, there are several different ways of going about this. You can use a photo editor like Photoshop, but today we're just going to Google a tool that will help us remove the background. Let's search for background removal. And the first site that comes up for me is this remove.bg site. All we have to do is upload our source image. It looks like my image is on my desktop. So navigate to your desktop and select file. And here you can see that it's already removed the image. I'm going to click the download button to download the removed background version of this image. And if I put them side by side, in preview on my computer, uh, it shows the transparent background as black. On your computer, it might use a checkerboard pattern, like you see on the website. Now is a good time to mention some internet safety. When you use online tools like these, be sure to keep in mind your common sense. If it seems like the site might be sketchy, or if you're not sure if it's safe to use, ask your instructor. Now, let's drop our photos into Unity to see what they look like. This is just a brand new 2D Unity project, and I have my photos on the desktop. We're just going to drag the pictures from the desktop into the projects window to import them into Unity. You can see the little plus sign is there when you hover over the project window. Now we're going to rename this dog to have a more convenient name. And then all you have to do is drag it into your Unity scene, and we can see that one of them has a background and one of them does not. So, super simple, just drag them into Unity, and you should see the difference right away. Thank you so much for joining us, and I hope you learned something new today.